Hi, I'm Chris here with Penwood. Uh, we're going to do a short little video here today on cooking a prime rib roast. We're going to do it on our Napoleon Prestige uh, gas grill, uh, putting it on the rotisserie. So today we got here just a small prime rib roast. This is here just under five pounds. Um, you know, these will come, you know, from a couple pounds, clean up to about 20 pounds or so. You can get some of them. So. We just have a small one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this prepped up. There's a lot of seasonings you can use for it, you know, your favorite rubs. Um, today, uh, we're gonna end up using a little bit of Suckle Buster, salt, pepper, garlic, and the uh, Two Pig Mafia uh, steak rub. A lot of times we'll use uh, Texas beef from Three Little Pigs. Uh, very good rub for uh, heavy pieces of beef. And another favorite is using the cow lick and the raising the steaks combination from Dizzy Pig. Um, put the cow lick on first and then come back over with raising the steaks, which is a real coarse grind because it's a nice crust and bite uh, when it's finished up. But we're going to go ahead and get started getting this season. Then we're going to let it set out for about two hours. Uh, we're just going to use a binder, going to use some uh, duck fat spray and just hit it a little bit. And we're going to cover the whole way around it. We're going to take a light coat of the SPG. And this here is also a very coarse grind. Usually, uh, when you get uh, with your prime rib roast, you have a little more fat cap on the top of it here. Um, usually, we'll trim it down to like an eighth inch to a quarter fat cap. We don't take it all off. There's a lot of flavor there once this here caramelizes up. But uh, this in here was trimmed down pretty well when we got it. Now we'll give it a good covering with the uh, Two Pigs Mafia steak rub. All right, so we got it seasoned up with the seasonings here. And then what we're gonna end up doing is try to round this up a little bit more. We're gonna tie it up and uh, get a little rounder. Uh, a lot of times when you buy them, they are laying out flatter. Uh, you're gonna put it on the rotisserie. Have, you know, again, as round as you can really helps. And even for even cooking. So if this was laying out flatter yet, uh, you know, my ends, any of the, the thin points are going to cook quicker than the center. So we try to round it, make it as even as we can, and then that roast will cook even the whole way through for you. So we're going to go ahead and get, uh, get this tied up, then we'll be back with you and uh, um, get this on the grill in about uh, two hours. All right, so we're back. It's been about two hours. We got our roast wrapped up, got it seasoned. Got it pulled more in the, the round shape to it. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and get the rotisserie started up here. We did start our rear burner on the rotisserie. So we have that heated up. 
We're also going to give this a little bit of uh, smoke flavor. So I have Napoleon's uh, wood chip basket and on the grill, it's designed just to sit right over at a burner. So we're going to hit this with just a little bit of uh, smoke. So what we'll do is we'll start this burner up, get that wood started, and then we'll just go ahead and turn that burner off. Um, and it'll give us just a little bit of kiss of smoke. You don't have to do that, but that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to put a drip pan in here to catch drippings uh, instead of going down through the grill. You could also, if you want to do au jus with it, uh, mix some um, liquid up, put in here some flavors and uh, do it that way. Uh, we're not going to do that today. So we're already starting, just turning that on that quick, starting to get a little bit of smoke. I'm just going to turn it down on a low setting, get that going a little bit more. Gonna go ahead and get the uh, roast in here on the rod. Try to get it in the center. Got her set up. And then we're going to let the rear burner crank up here for just a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and back that down here in just a little. Just want to make sure it's making its full turn. We're going to come back to it in about an hour and a half. Uh, we're going to shoot for right around 128 degrees, somewhere in that area. Um, we're going to check it about an hour and a half, thinking we're probably going to be closer to two hours. So we'll be back here in a little while. All right, so we're back. I just turned it off. We were hitting about 128 to 130 in the middle of the rows. Uh, so I have everything shut off. We're going to go ahead and put it in a pan, wrap it in some foil, and let it set here for about 20 minutes. You want to make sure you have good leather gloves to uh, take that off. And go ahead and take that inside let it set up for about 20 minutes juice is even back out in it and we'll slice it up all right so we're back we uh let this uh roast rest here for about 20 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and unwrap it here and check our temp up to about a 137 in the middle of it. And go ahead and move it over to the cutting board. Just 
clip our string. I'll just take a piece off the edge here. And you can slice this a number of ways. You can slice it thin. For um, thin slices, you could slice it for a steak type, but cooking it low and slow, we've got done on the outside. The rest of it is completely the same uh, finish the whole way through. And if we'd have kept that out where we didn't roll it, you know, you'd be done much more on the ends with a smaller piece done on the inside. I can definitely taste the little bit of garlic and pepper and salt on the outside. Juicy. Oh my. We're going to go ahead and slice this up and um, share this with all the guys here.